I'm Darius Shaman, senior at J.P. Stevens High School, and this is Teen Talk. Welcome to Teen Talk. My name is Darius Raymond, and I am a senior at J.P. Stevens High School. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about education. As a high schooler, it can be pretty hard to balance your school activities with your outside life, such as jobs or clubs or just hanging out with friends. There's also a lot of pressure as you go through your high school career with finding out what you're going to do when you graduate, such as going to college or starting off with a job. Today I'd like to talk to you about both of these subjects and offer a little input. So I have played in a few high school sports, such as wrestling and football, as also I have held a few jobs during my years of high school. It's been pretty difficult to balance school with work with sports, but I find it easy as long as you make sure you plan ahead and have a clear schedule. Most high school sports have practices nearly every day, and then they either have games or matches on the weekends or on Fridays. One way to make sure that you're balanced while staying on top of your studies along with practicing for your activities is to not rush things and take your time. Make sure you leave yourself with a lot of time to do certain activities such as homework or studying for a test. That way you're not rushing to complete your homework and make it to practice on time. If you don't procrastinate and make sure you take care of things in advance, you'll be able to maintain good grades as well as make sure you go to every practice and game for sports. The same thing can be said with working. A lot of high schoolers start working during their juniors or senior years, so it's best to find a job that doesn't take up too much time and one where you don't have to come in every day. A good job would be something where you get to choose your hours and days you can work. That way you leave plenty of time to focus on your school activities as well as time to hang out with friends if you want to. It's always important to have a lot of time to relax. This way you don't become overwhelmed and stressed out. Another thing I'd like to talk about is colleges. As a junior and more so as a senior, you'll be focusing a lot on applying to college. These decisions have a large impact on your life after high school and they take time. Most guidance counselors in your school along with some teachers are willing to help out with applications or even just thinking about something else besides college such as going directly into a work field or maybe even trade schools. It's best to not rush into things <laughs> and that way when, you, when it comes time to take an application you should plan it out. You should make sure you know what school you're going to or what school you'd like to apply. You should do some research on this and it's best if you were to take a visit to the campus. This way you don't end up applying to a college, getting accepted, and then finding out then that you don't want to go out of state or finding out maybe you do want to go out of state but you're stuck in state. For myself, I've been applying to a few colleges recently and the process has been pretty difficult. But I've had a few family members to help me with it, along with, along with my teachers, who have showed me what to do and explained the process to me. When applying to a college, it's best if you have high grades and high test scores. The best way to keep high grades is to start off your high school career very well. During your freshman year, you may seem new to everything, and it may be difficult to focus. You shouldn't let this get to you because your freshman year pretty much sets the base for every year to come afterwards. At the end of your four years, if you didn't do well in your first couple of years, yet you started to pick it up in your last two, it, your grades may not be where you want them to be because of the rocky start you had in the beginning. The same can be said with test scores. Colleges usually accept a SAT and a PSAT score or an ACT score. 
These scores are standardized tests that almost every student takes, and there's a lot of ways to practice for them. You can go online or even find a study book to help you practice for these tests. These scores have a large impact on whether or not you will be accepted into colleges. Higher tier Ivy League colleges usually accept students with high scores ranging from 1,400 out of 1,600. That's not to say that if you're not the best test taker, you can't be accepted still. There are still plenty of good colleges that will accept your scores even if they are only average, ranging around a 1,000 or 1,200. As a high schooler myself, this process has been pretty confusing yet it's been interesting and it's helped me out a lot in planning my futures and career. So my advice for you is to take your time, make sure you're relaxed, and just stay focused on your goals. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Darius Friedman and this is Team Talk at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church.